What is CP-Link? CP-Link is an application installed on your computer that creates a bridge to your case space or cases on the web. Using this link allows you to do two things. One, edit documents without having to manually re-import your new version. Two, save files without having to be logged into the case space or website. Installation. In order to install, first navigate to any cases document screen. Click on any file. Select the tooltip, select the applicable version to download the cplink.exe file. Next, open the downloaded.exe file. Follow the installation prompts. Note, for Windows users, it is possible to allow all users signed into a computer to use a single installation of CP-Link. Select this option if you share a computer with other CasePacer users with different Windows credentials. CasePacer offers technical support for IT specialists wishing to utilize CP-Link in a shared network environment. Contact us for more detail. Next, you'll log into CP-Link using the same credentials you use for https colon forward slash forward slash secure.casepacer.com. How to edit with CP-Link. Once CP-Link is installed, go back to a document you wish to edit. Select Edit File with CP-Link. Note. Your browser may prompt you to allow the application to open. Select Open CP-Link. You can also select the Always Allow option to skip this step next time. Your document will then open. Make the desired changes to the document and select Save. CP-Link will continually upload new changes back to CasePacer every time you hit Save you will receive a notification confirming the revision was successfully sent. All versions of the document will be available back in Case Pacer. Select the notch next to the Download File button to select Previous Versions. Saving new files with CP-Link. The installation of CP-Link will create a new folder called Case Pacer underscore drop. We refer to this as the drop folder. Note, the default location of Case Pacer underscore drop is the user's documents folder. This can be configured in the settings file. The drop folder allows you to save new files to case pacer cases without using the website or CP Hub. Every time you save a file to the drop folder, you will be prompted to assign that file to a case pacer case. You can do this for single files or cases, or for bulk file uploads to multiple cases. To save a file to the drop folder, you can use one, the Save As method from the applicable program, or two, the drag and drop method to copy or move files in File Explorer. When CP-Link senses a change to the drop folder, a window will open to assign the file or files. Search and select the desired case. Then select Upload. If you are saving one file at a time, CP-Link will use your default browser to open the new document in the case so you can profile it with a subtype, etc. This is optional, but good practice. To save the same file to more than one case, go back to the CP-Link window and reselect the file. Then select another case. Select Upload. You can upload multiple files to a case at the same time. Select the desired files and case. Then select Upload. When uploading multiple files, you'll have the option to further profile them in the case. Select Edit Profile. CP-Link will use your default browser to open the new document in the case so you can profile it with a subtype, 
etc. The Edit Profile button will turn gray once you've used it. This is helpful to keep track of which documents have already been profiled. Tips and Tricks You can manually clear the drop folder using File Explorer or use the CP Link window and select Empty Drop Folder. Note, since CP Link is running in the background to monitor the drop folder, it is good practice to periodically clear the files already saved to KSpacer to maintain bandwidth. Your taskbar's tray will show a CP Link icon when the application is running. Right-click the icon to open, quit, debug, or stay logged in.